How's it going, Gravity Falls fans? Alright, so as of the release of this video, we are waiting on Gravity Falls Season 2 to return from the recently popular trend of mid-season breaks. Yeah, I know, I don't like them either. So, in this downtime, I thought I would touch on a much requested fan theory. That theory being that Grunkle Stan has a secret twin. Now this theory has been covered to death on YouTube already, so I'm not going to regurgitate too much of what's already been said, but I will give you this quick rundown. The theory spawns from Grunkle Stan's license plate, which reads as follows. Now, the common school of thought here is that this abbreviates Stanley Mobile. But the question is, why would his license plate say Stanley when Grunkle Stan's name is Stanford? Well, that would be because it is actually his twin brother Stanley's car. The other large piece of evidence comes from a few different sightings of a younger version of Stan, suspected each to be one of the two twins. Different hairstyles, glasses, and a disappearing cleft chin seem to indicate that these are two different people. And the last popular tie-in comes from this flashback scene where we see a young Stan Pines in boxing training. And in the background, we see a kid with the similar Pines signature hairstyle with his face buried in a book. This is believed to be Stan's twin. So. Are you convinced? Well, I am not entirely. So if you'll indulge me, I'd like to play devil's advocate for a bit and bring up a few counterpoints to this popular theory. Am I saying it's outright wrong and that there's no way Grunkle Stan has a twin? No, it's actually quite possible that Stan has a twin, but I just don't think that this fellow right here is the twin. In fact, I am quite certain that the man seen in this image is none other than Stanford Pines. Don't believe me? Well, let's dig a little deeper. I'd like to start with the simplest of inconsistencies. In this scene from Carpet Diem, Grunkle Stan sneakily takes the glasses found in the secret room and is later on seen thoughtfully looking at them. Now, the theory suggests that these would be Stanley, the twins' glasses, and that the secret room they found in the episode was his room, closed down and locked away, bad memories and all. Sounds good! And these glasses do actually appear to be the same glasses we saw in the Circle of Symbols from Season 1. But here's where this theory initially crumbles for me. Sure, the glasses found in this episode do appear to be the same specs seen in the symbol circle. However, the theory says that this is Stanley, the twin. But a simple copy and paste reveals that these are simply not the same glasses. They have more circular U-shaped lenses, while the so-called Stanley glasses are more squared off. The sides connect at the top on one pair and at the middle on the other. Now, this puts a pretty large damper on this theory, if you ask me. But let's investigate a little bit further, for argument's sake. So, how can we explain the differing looks between these two stands? I mean, one has a cleft chin and one doesn't. Well, my thinking is that this is simply a display of age from the artists. When he's younger, he's got a strong cleft chin, unkempt hair, a clean-shaven face, and a pair of glasses. With a bit of age, he ditches the glasses for the time being, going for that cool guy look. Perhaps his face fills out a bit and his hairstyle changes with the times. In animation, it can be a tough line to walk when showing small age ranges. Adding wrinkles instantly makes the character look much, much older. So I think this is just a subtle way to imply that these scenes are happening over various periods of time. Now, let's jump over to the car. How can I explain Stan's license plate? Well, I think it's very possible that one of the animators believed Stan's name to be Stanley. After all, Grunkle Stan is only referred to Stanford a few times in the series, so it'd be a very easy slip-up to make for an artist working on the show. Now, you might be thinking, I don't believe that a major TV show like Gravity Falls would make mistakes like that. But the reality is, even the biggest shows out there are riddled with continuity errors and other sorts of mistakes. 
It's bound to happen when you have a team of different artists working inside of one continuity. In fact, Gravity Falls has a whole Wikipedia page dedicated to its goof-ups and continuity errors. So this could be, and quite frankly is very likely, one of those continuity errors. But we can't forget the plate numbers could stand for something entirely different. For instance, I came up with Stan Love You Mabel. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. The point is, this could be anything, but my former theory for this detail is most likely. Okay, this is all well and good, but you cannot explain away this one. In a flashback of young Stan in boxing training, there's a kid in the gymnasium while Stan is fighting. He's got the signature Pines hairstyle. Who's this guy supposed to be? Some kid who coincidentally has the exact same haircut as the young Grunkle Stan? Well, again, if you'll humor me, I have two theories about this. Let's begin here. Stan is Dipper and Mabel's great uncle, so we can assume he has at least one brother who passed his name down. This would be Dipper and Mabel's grandfather, and as the myth goes, twins skip a generation. So Dipper and Mabel's grandfather on their father's side is possibly Stan's twin brother, and who is seen in this sequence. So this may actually support the theory in some sense. But I would like to submit a very large theory of my own. I believe it is actually Dipper who is seen here. Now that we've had time travel and a memory erasing device introduced into the plot, I find it very likely that he is meddling in some way with the past here, and the way his face is buried in some journal has Dipper written all over it. Not only do I think this is him in this scene, but I also believe that a future version of Dipper is the very author of the journals. And these are Dipper's glasses. A much older Dipper, of course. A Dipper who's observed something very terrible happening to Gravity Falls, who chronicled all of his findings in a series of notebooks, traveling back in time to help his younger self prevent this occurrence. Doing all of this with a loyal assistant whose mind was a bit scrambled in the time traveling process. <clears throat> So, what evidence do I have to support this outlandish claim? Well, uh, none really. It's just a theory I came up with, but it sounds pretty compelling, doesn't it? Back to the twins theory. It certainly is an interesting one. And all of this crazy theorizing that I've done over the course of this video isn't to say that Stan doesn't have a twin brother. In fact, he actually has to have a brother in order for Dipper and Mabel to have even received the Pine's name. But I posit that we simply haven't seen or met him yet. So, do you agree with my stance on this theory? Maybe you don't. I could be gloriously wrong about everything. But I just wanted to shine a light on a different perspective on this popular theory. And hopefully my little investigation will give you a little bit more to think about. And for now, we will, of course, have to just keep watching. So with that, I will see you soon, Gravity Falls fans. Thanks for watching.